Your local game store means a lot of things to different people. It's a local hub for socializing with others about your hobbies, a place to network and expand your interests, and a marketplace to sell off pieces as well as to add to your collection. It's basically a nerd pawn shop where secondhand meets high demand, and it can be confusing and intimidating. But don't worry, now you have a friend in the gaming business. My name is Mason, and I'm one of the owners of Cardinal Gaming, a game store in Louisville, Kentucky. And this is Card Shop Candids. Hey guys, Mason here, Cardinal Gaming. Welcome back to another Card Shop Candid. How y'all doing? Appreciate you clicking on the video, hanging out with me in the playroom, sorting some cards, still. Uh, it's probably like two weeks worth of sorting cards now, apparently, but uh, hey. Uh, just feeling the itch to record some videos and just sitting here thinking about life. I do not talk about uh, my personal life too much. And uh, I don't know. Just uh, I just want to be able to put out stuff that is informative and, and have a point. And I don't know. Just stuff about me is, well, I'm sure some people care or would be interested, but it's not like the main focus of the channel. Um, if you would like to see more and know more about me, I'm, I'm, I'd love to make the content that you guys want to watch. So if you do have interest in that, uh, I'm definitely all ears. But I just uh, have something I'd like to share and something to talk about from in my personal life. Um, and it, I can tie it into being relevant, so it's going to work out. So um, for the past five years, in the seven years that we've had Cardinal be a thing, the five years of running a, a brick and mortar store. Um, uh, I have uh, worked part time uh, at the airport doing airport security, TSA. Uh, I've done that for probably since we went brick, brick and mortar. And I went part time probably um, sometime into that. And uh, I am finally leaving. Uh, TSA as of the end of the, uh, the month in March and I feel weird it's weird to think that <laughs> both it's taking this long to get there and then like kind of scary still you know that uh, there's a lot of unknowns and things that it's um, in a lot of ways uh it's always been like sink or swim, like, hey, make it work and, and you know, do what you got to do to get there. But, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a, it's another, like, full level of commitment where uh, I've been committed, obviously. I've been running a, a business with <laughs> a dozen employees and, obviously, but, yeah, it's kind of weird. And, and people be like, man, Mason, what are you, what are you doing? Why? Why are you still working another job? Uh, part of it was for the insurance, you know, uh, being a federal job, it was really good insurance. Um, but we have business insurance now through uh, the store, which is uh, not worth it and totally more expensive than definitely what I was used to. But that was a major thing for staying there. So on top of having to pay more for insurance, it's also, you know, just losing that income that I've become accustomed to. So... It's just a lot of adjustments that I've had to do personally and to where I'm, I'm comfortable enough to, uh, you know, walk away and, and leave that part of my life. Because I've been there, well, I've been working there eight, eight years. So, you know, it's a, it's a big, a big chunk of, of time. And it worked out to where it was just, um, you know, nice where I could work the early morning, get off at nine or ten during the day, and then I'd have the rest of the day to come run the shop because you know um, gamer nerds don't even wake up till noon so I have plenty of time but uh, yeah it's just it's kind of freeing it's kind of nice uh, sleep is going to be great I won't have big bags under my eyes anymore hopefully but um, it just kind of speaks to the the struggles and the things that you have to consider and, and work around 
as a small business owner and you know owning a small business running a small business it's there's a lot of things that are against you and just are naturally just I know a lot of people that if they had insurance or had um, you know some sort of better coverage or, or more uh, freedom to do and commit themselves to a business they could run a great business their business could be blooming and, and, and growing and, and being a bigger boom the economy but things like insurance you know uh, you know uh, cash limitations uh, limited access to loans all those types of things can really make you slow roll and and, and it's, like I said it's the only way to start a business now there's not people going out and getting two hundred thousand uh, dollars saying that hey I want to start a business it doesn't happen you know and if the people that it is happening to they can afford it as it is so it's just uh that's where we're at in the economy and, and how things are going and you know if we had uh, you know opportunities to do uh and fully commit ourselves to a business you know we could do a lot do a lot of uh good things for the economy and a local community and, and all that stuff and that's regardless of whatever your business you're in you know, gaming or, uh, you know, if you want to go be a baker and open up a donut shop or a coffee shop or, you know, whatever. All those things are great for the community, but we're all tied to these jobs that and these securities that make us feel better and more comfortable and more stable, like having insurance and, you know, uh, a federal job and things like that where I don't have to worry about getting laid off and, and you know, the economy crashing and, and losing the business and all that. But obviously with a, a second location and things like that, I feel better and more comfortable walking away. And that was a big part of just like, I could look at the finances and be like, you know what? Um, I can lose a bit of personal money and, and the business is, is stable enough and okay and doing okay where I can, you know, uh, leave and, and everything's gonna be okay. So again, still, still scary, still, you know, a lot of, uncertainty there but I I don't feel like a huge amount of pressure is on me where I, I have to worry about uh, you know day to day I next week if we're going to be okay or not you know it's, if we're in a, a better position than we've ever been in this business so uh, yeah it's just if you're thinking about starting a business and when you're you're you think about hey should I jump all the way in or not um, it could be scary and difficult and hard and not everybody has a chance or an opportunity to uh, like I said work a early morning job or a late night job or uh, maybe have kids and you know you gotta worry about child care and, and younger children that you know you just can't leave and you don't have maybe relatives to watch them or you know things like that there's a lot of things that can be against people and prohibiting them um, that's why it's so important to focus on the baby steps the little tiny micro adjustments every week every day to get things to be where they are and where you need them to be to be finally like independent and stable but in the business that you built yourself I'm just happy for the sleep. I'll be real honest. I'm just, I just miss sleeping. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you caring about me, caring about the business. And hopefully that helps. Something to think about. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Mason here again, one more time. Really do appreciate you guys watching the video. Make sure if you like the series, give it a like. It's free, it costs you nothing. And if you are really liking the videos, please go back and watch the rest of the stuff from the series. It really helps out the channel. You should be seeing that pop up on the screen now. Also, if you have any ideas or topics that you want me to cover, go down in the comment section and let me know. But I really do appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.